This is a comprehensive four-year degree from the United States. Now, in this case, because you come from a polytechnic that has, typically you'll transfer in enough credits to make you a sophomore in the American system. So we have freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. So you'd be coming in uh, as if you had three years left to go in the United States. But you also go during all of the summer, for two summers, and a winter session. So you just go to school in January and December tw twice. So you're able to get two years worth of academic work, I mean three years worth of academic work in a two year period. What's important about that is that allows you to have a degree that uh, lets you do more than simply work in hospitality. You can go get a master's in business administration. You're qualified to get an American law degree. You're qualified to get a master's degree and then go on to get a, a PhD degree you want to teach. So it's a full-scale, regular degree. And we'd say, well, and I'll go back to what I said before about a business versus a hospitality degree. What a hospitality degree allows you to do is to get in probably one of the most vibrant and dynamic sectors of the economy with the degree that is basically in general management. And so you get into the hospitality industry. You rise fairly quickly because you have the problem-solving skills. You have the industry knowledge. And you'll have supervisory experience very early on in your career. That gives you then the opportunity to transfer into real estate development, finance, stay in hospitality if you like, go into airlines or whatever. And we know statistically from our main campus that after seven years, 60% of our graduates are no longer in the hospitality business. They've gone into some other business based on the training that they had with the hospitality degree. And so that's why I would encourage you to think of it more as, well, uh, as a parent, I would look at it and say, what do you need to go to get an, uh, an American university degree to work at a hotel? Well, it's much more than that. It really is a general management degree that prepares you to start in a very dynamic industry. What is it to go to UNLV Singapore? Well, as I was talking before, there's industry connections. You have to study and learn. You have to network, or you're not going to have the advantages. You go to Las Vegas for five weeks. You receive the globally recognized degree that's exactly the same as in the US. And what is a bargain in education if, it, if it's not something you want to have? I mean, the truth of the matter is you only go to college once in your life. And so having, even though I just got done talking about what a great bargain it is, you would be crazy to choose an education or a school based on price. You don't shop price on something that important. You shop quality. And one thing that we do have in Las Vegas, in, in Las Vegas and in Singapore is quality in the faculty. That is the major component of the, of the UNLV degree. Our faculty and residents here in Singapore are all, have, most of them have some connection with UNLV and the main campus. We've got six student government organizations, or six student activity clubs on the main campus. That's six opportunities for you to be the president of an organization. That's six opportunities for you to work with the industry. That's six opportunities for various members of the organizations to work together in projects and that sort of thing. And when we talk to our, we, you know, we constantly survey our alum you know, after they graduate. We survey our students while they're with us. And they, we find both on the main campus and in Las Vegas, these co-curricular activities are equally valuable, not only in just things people remember and enjoy about school, but when they get out, uh, those, those social connections tend to be the people that are referring jobs to each other and hiring each other and helping each other's um,